Y bueno gente, bienvenidos a un nuevo video más de la campaña de Alan Wake 2 este, Vamos a continuar donde dejamos el día de, de ayer El plan hoy es acabar el centro del bienestar vale e Ese es el plan, porque se supone que el día de ayer este, pues ya hicimos todo esto Lo único que nos queda pendiente es entrar en, en el comedor Y supongo yo que la pelea va a ser en la cocina O esta cosa que supongo que esto me podría llevar al sótano no estoy seguro, pero pues es lo que más o menos este estoy pensando. Déjenme ver qué es lo que llevo. Pues a, espero que con esto me baste y me sobre para lo que posiblemente me va a acabar atacando allá adentro. Que espero que no, no tengamos que matar a Thor. Pero pues si al final lo tengo que matar, pues ya... Ya que quieren hacer, ¿no? Así que pues bueno, vamos a darle. Que para ser sincero, no sé cuánto le falte al juego. Porque les digo, en, en, en cuestión de zonas, pues se supone que esta es la última zona de Senua. O de, de Senua. De, es, perdón, es que hace un rato fue el, el evento de Xbox. Y anunciaron ya que por fin, por fin va a salir este Hellblade Senua Sacrifice 2. Que no saben qué ganas le traía, le tengo a ese juego. O sea, no, no tienen ni idea. Objetos perdidos, mitones artesanales, un diario con comidas diarias, una pluma fuente, un broche antiguo para el pelo, muy bello. Consulta sobre una dirección. Consulta. Consulta sobre una dirección a tu amiga Rose. Ah, vamos a ver acá. Encontré una caja de municiones de un fusil de cacería en la cafetería. Rose, me parece que te olvidaste de algo de nuevo. Tendrías que tener más cuidado. Acepta el consejo de Vlad. Un amigo. Un amigo. A, amantes de la. Amantes de las armas. ¿No será un amigo amante de las armas? Un amigo amante de las armas. Les digo que está tiene demasiados, demasiados errores la, la adaptación en el español. Tiene demasiados errores gramaticales. Un amigo amante de las armas, guárdala bien. La cuidaré hasta... Al menos para mí no tiene sentido que diga un amigo amante de las armas, pero bueno. Eh, la cuidaré hasta que la vengas a buscar. Compraré el té que dijiste, compré el té que dijiste que te gustaba. Te puedo preparar una taza si quieres. BD. BB, perdón. Es que volteé a ver si estaba captando el, el audio del micrófono. Parece que sí. Y no hay nada más aquí. ¿Tú no te vas a aprender para enseñarme algo? Ok, parece que tengo que ir para allá porque ahí está Thor. Así que, a ver, déjeme ver... Es que acá pensé que podía encontrar algo porque como está abierto aquí. Vale, no me deja pasar. This must have been tours. A ver, déjenme quito por si llega a ver algún tipo de cinemática. ¡Ay, cabrón! Dios a tu madre. en la mierda che juego porque siempre me pasa eso que apago la cámara o sea no, no porque quiera que me vean como me asusto créeme que eso me importa poco el tema de, me, pero me harta que apago la cámara me meto bien tranquilo y me espantan con un pinche screamer eso es lo que me harta vacía les digo, eso sí me harta entrar y que me salgan con su mamá de un pinche screamer, eso es lo que me harta les digo, yo sé que desde el juego anterior tenían los screamers, pero les digo a mí nunca me han gustado ya se los expliqué creo el día de ayer no que por qué no me por qué nunca me han gustado los, los pinches screamers en, en los juegos bueno, los juegos y películas o sea Se oye un despapay allá afuera antes de salir. Está vacío.
Puedo abrir alguno de estos casilleros. Parece que no me deja. Y los subtítulos. ¿Pero qué mierda? Busca a Thor de forma... ¿Qué dice? Rescata a Thor de la solapa. Busca una forma de entrar a la solapa. Hablar con Rose en el estanque. Les digo, no sé qué onda. ¿Por qué no me salieron los subtítulos este cuando estaba ahí? Con... Con este... ¿Cómo se llama? Con... Con este vato. O sea... Aunque okay, por alguna extraña razón ahora aparecí de este lado. A ver, antes de, de ir a hablar con Rose. ¡Ay, cabrón! ¡Puta madre! A huevo tienen que salir con sus putos screamers de mierda. I don't have the key. Aunque pues aquí tienen todo el equipo que usaron el parecer de iluminación y todo eso. Audio. Que me moteo. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak.
Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Perdón, este, se me había olvidado que no, no quité el, no quité el, este, el muteo del micrófono, se me olvidó, así que perdón, si escuchan arañazos o algo por el tío, es que mis perritos acaban de, se los, se los comenté antes de, este, de que me diera cuenta de que estaba muteado, se, casi estoy seguro, voy a agarrar algo acá, los posibles o lo que sea, y cuando venga de regreso por aquí va a pasar alguien caminando, Casi estoy seguro. seguro. ¿Dónde se supone que estoy? Depósito. El primero chequemos bien antes de meterme a la proyección que hay ahí. Ok, necesito una contraseña. Casa de Sein, cineasta de renombre, fun, funda comunidad artística en Bright Falls. Thomas Sein, conocí, uh, Thomas Sein nacido, nacido como Thomas C. Sein en Finlandia y su compañera Bárbara Jäger, nacida como Bárbara Jakala en Finlandia. Niños, desde quietos. En Finlandia, hace poco establecieron una comunidad artística aquí en Bright Falls. El señor Sein adquirió una mansión antigua en las afueras del pueblo y la pareja ya se instaló. Tanto en su país natal como a nivel internacional, el señor Sein es un, cine, un, 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 es un cineasta perdón, de culto famoso y muy respetado. Una estrella en, en ascenso de la talla de Stanley Kubrick e In, Ingmar Bergman. Su película anterior... Nightless Night ganó varios premios en Europa. En el presente, el señor Sein se encuentra en pleno proceso de filmación del título del título Tom the Poet en la charla. En la charla, Sein es muy carismático y se nota que tiene grandes sueños. Mencionó la construcción de un hotel y un estudio de filmación en la zona. Hasta eligió un nombre para el hospedaje, Ocean View Hotel. En mi opinión, como periodista, creo que suena bien. Está claro que los sueños de Zane lograrían que Bright Falls se convierta en un lugar reconocido si se, co si se concretan. Los miembros de la comunidad están de acuerdo. Para ellos, Zane es una persona digna de admiración, aunque sea, un, aunque sea a un pequeño nivel de culto. Niños, una persona que guía a su rebaño para que expanda su conciencia y llegue a un estado superior de inspiración artística con la ayuda de hongos mágicos. Si bien el registro de Bright Falls no aprueba el uso de drogas ilegales, esperemos que el señor Zane logre que nuestro pueblo sea reconocido. Thomas Zane looked just like Wake. Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? Nada bueno puede, puede salir Cynthia de aquí. Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Me voy a... Bueno, ahorita les digo. Es que creo que me voy a mutear porque acá este, ya empezaron a poner música, así que déjenme muteo, ¿vale? Esperemos que quiten su música rápido.
Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close, to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Could come in handy. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Pues parece que ya quitaron la música, parece, o sea, no estoy seguro. Aquí la única, el único tema que tengo es ahora, ahora dónde tengo que llevar el fusible. Ok, creo que es aquí a la derecha, salgo de aquí a la derecha, pero ya hay algo por aquí, o sea...
caja de zapatos ¿Qué puedo dejar? Pues lo único que se me ocurre que podría dejar es cuatro flechas Para poder regresar por las, este, ¿cómo se llama? Las... Las pilas, creo son pilas Ya, chicos Dejen de hacer ruido Espérame Ay, cabrón Perdón Este... Así que primero voy por las pilas Y después agarro este... Y después veo a dónde tengo que ir ¿Está? El fusible según yo iba aquí, ¿no? En esta cosa. A ver. No, si es del otro lado, es aquí. Acuérdate, comprar más fusibles, muchos más. El equipo es tan viejo que los revienta sin parar, bebé. Ajá, pero... ¿Dónde se supone que van los fusibles? A ver ¿Dónde van los fusibles entonces? ¿O tengo que hablar con Ati? Porque creo que aquí, aquí abajo ya no necesito hacer nada Creo Me pregunto cuándo carajos voy a encontrar este el cortacadenas. Les digo, perdón si escuchan este, los chillidos de los pequeños, pero... Pues créanme que ahorita no puedo decirles, cállense y se van a callar, o sea, no. Es que lo, lo bueno es que eso, me, me encanta tenerlos de cachorritos. Lo único malo es que estos son de... Estate conmigo un ratito y si te alejas voy a estar chille y chille y chille. Y, y les digo, ahorita estaba con mi papá hace ratito este, con ellos. Y pues les repito, estos son de aléjate tantito de mí y voy a empezar a chillar y a chillar. Y a chillar. Y porque no es de comida, créeme, no es de comida. Ya no tiene mucho que les di de comer. Les digo, a lo mucho tendrá como hora, hora y media que comieron y comieron bien. A ver, a ti. A chingón, no se supone que estaba aquí a ti. Ah, no, está en el tercer piso. Y puedo hablar con alguien acá en el primero. Se supone que hay alguien acá. Come to the emergency muster point. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. 
Well, no one tells Norman McDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Okay. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. Vale. Ok. Esa es la conversación que tenía con ellas. Tengo que subir al tercer piso para hablar con Ati, para lo del fusible, supongo. Ok, déjenme quito. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed. His vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. El pan, así the que brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk.
Solo quiero decir que esta pintura sale en control. Esta pintura la tienes que ver para este para poder avanzar ya en la última parte de la, del laberinto de, de control. Me amoteo porque el del pan está aquí al ladito. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even, or changing the perspective? Raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why?
Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh my god. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story?
What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? <laughs> Good dinner recipes? Ways to kill Taken? Lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! Exciting! You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh. This kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Rose Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. Hmm. Makes sense. Aquí mi duda es dónde está el el museo.
A ver, voy a volver a ir a ver a Thor, pero si, si no aparezco es porque todavía tiene hay ruido aquí al lado, gente. Ahí está. Me vuelvo a mutear, ¿vale? Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Speed has scored. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, now there's less monsters. There. Power's back on. It was under water. The nightmares were starting to cook.
Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. remorse is missing who took it our shame becomes the pale horse oh tor bro tor's love for you is in that song that's why cynthia wants it to ruin him she made tor lust after her we fought one scratching hag years ago now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good one less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A broken brawl clings it. Shadows to come alive, a gift, an on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Anger's remorse. 
Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The anger's remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Vale, gente, este... Lo vamos a dejar aquí el día de hoy. Eh, perdón por no hablar, pero es que tienen acá su, su escándalo y pues... Y luego empezó a venir el don del pan y ya saben cómo es esto. Así que por eso me, me muteo y sale, sale bien que no aparezco. Así que pues bueno, este lo dejamos el día de hoy hasta aquí. Pues voy a esperarme un rato a ver si estos güeyes se callan. Y en dado caso de que no se callen, pues ya no grabaré más videos el día de hoy. Porque para estar muteado, pues... O sea, no tiene caso. este Si todavía grabara esto sin la que... Bueno, de hecho, pues siempre grabé con la voz, ¿no? Pero con la cámara eso ya es punto y aparte, pero al menos la voz siempre hablo, siempre normalmente hablo, pero ahorita que está con su escándalo, están con su escándalo acá afuera, pues no me permiten hablar bien. Así que pues bueno gente, lo dejamos el día de hoy hasta aquí. Este nada más voy a, voy a venir acá para guardar el, el video. Y pues bueno, les digo, voy a esperar un ratito a ver si estos güeyes se callan. Y en dado caso de que no, pues les digo, ya no grabaré otro capítulo el día de hoy. Porque si no, para estar muteado todo el audio, el video, pues para qué grabo, ¿saben? Así que pues bueno, lo, los dejo el día de hoy hasta aquí. Les digo, espero que no se... Que se callen lo más pronto posible y yo pueda grabar el capítulo del día de mañana. En dado caso de que no, pues perdón, pero pues yo no controlo lo que pasa afuera de mi casa. Vale gente, así que sin nada más por el momento, espero que les haya gustado el capítulo del día de hoy. Ya saben que si les gustó, regálenme like, compartan el video, síganme en redes sociales. Y yo los estaré viendo el día de mañana con otro capítulo más de la campaña de Alan Wake 2. Así que bueno gente, nos vemos. Si te gustó el video, no te olvides de suscribirte al canal. Y si ya estás suscrito, no te olvides de picarle a la campanita de notificaciones para que te llegue una notificación cada vez que yo suba un nuevo video.